What went through your mind when you wrote deployed on that envelope and sent it back? They were sending me and my dad bills every month. After we gave them the, after the state said leave the kids, uh, in the best interest of the kids, leave the, the kids there. Like I said, they were billing me and my dad every three weeks, almost $2,000, and he was billing my dad and myself that every four, every, every month. And they were calling, and like I said, deployed well, into military you know, my family is in the military. They're from Fayetteville, Fort Bragg. And it's just, I grew up, it, like, I but grew up. But you're not, and I'm, you weren't I know, deployed. I, I know, but I think it was a stress. I was stressed. I was absolutely stressed out. I've got a school district coming at me. I've got a school district following me everywhere I go. I, I see them. I saw them. I, I got a school district calling my job, my livelihood, where I got to pay and, and, and feed my kids. I got a school district calling Metropolitan Housing. I have them calling me every, uh, telling me to come in every week. I have all this going on. I'm like, what, why the, what is so wrong? My kids aren't behavior students. They're not, be, they're not bad. They're little girls. They were little. They were good kids. They're not bad kids. I don't understand it. The, oh, in 2005, we got a paper from the, from, from the child guidance telling us, look, come, look at our program. And then now you see us and you don't want us? No, I'm mad. I'm, to, I'm hurt, let say yes. This. Let's say, let's say for the sake of the discussion, as, as I think he used the term, imagine it. Let's say she was totally wrong. We didn't come in before the trial. We didn't come marching into Ohio and say, leave her alone. We waited until after you make her a felon and say, that don't fit that. Two wrongs don't make a right. She could be wrong under your deployment. But is it right then to come with an overkill? Let's step back and say, wait a minute. Where she's wrong, if she's wrong, let the punishment fit that. But let's also look at why are people having to choose between where their kids can safely go to school. Okay. Let's try to correct the system. That's all, right. all we're saying. All right. I do not think the punishment fit the crime. I do not think that you should be a convicted felon. But at the same time, I can't sit here and ignore the fact that you had options.